Welcome. It's a new day. As you guys can see, uh, we're not in the shop. We're having a fun day today. We are going to see our good buddy, Tommy. Uh, we've mentioned Tommy a couple times uh, in our videos. And he will be most likely attending Winrock with us this year. So that's going to be sick. Uh, Tommy has been kind of uh, out of the Jeep game for a while. He just bought a house and stuff. But we are headed to his house right now. And we're going to do a little walk around on his Jeep. He's got a really sick Jeep. Uh, it's on 40s, stuff like that. You guys will see it. Thing is sick. Cole's uh, filling up the little rig right now. And uh, yeah, we're going to head on over there. Uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys shoot us a comment down below. Give us a like. It really, you know, helps out. And subscribe if you guys want to, you know, stick around and see more of this, these type of videos. Uh, again, it's winter right now, so unfortunately we're not wheeling, but... Don't worry, wheeling season's common. Wheeling season is common. We are here at Tommy's. Uh, Tommy, say hello. Hello. Got Cole here. Cole's a little upset. He wasn't included in the intro. Yeah, he did it in the gas station parking lot while I was <laughs> filling up. It's not even fair. <laughs> so, we finally see Tommy's Jeep. We don't see this Jeep very often, but this guy just bought a house and... Moved far away. Moved far away and ultra busy, but... Tommy, why don't you uh, give us a little rundown on this thing? This is my uh, 2001 XJ with a 98 4.0 in it. Rebuilt it off my last XJ, and it's only got like 4,000 miles on rebuild because, like you said, it doesn't get out in the woods very much. <laughs> um, this was originally white, but Cole had a white Jeep at the time, which then. Coop had a white Jeep at the time. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> a white Jeep. And so, decided my dad works at Michigan Cat. We were going with Caterpillar Yellow because of the license plate DXJ. So, that's how it got its name. Um, What's its name? DXJ Caterpillar Crawler. <laughs> um, I was the first one in the group to decide to go for uh, stock axles. Straight to one tons. So, <laughs> 33s to 40s, <laughs> literally. So everything was pre-COVID, so it's a lot cheaper than what Coop's dealing with right now. Uh, but uh, Dana 60 up front, spooled with 538s on a Toro Trailblade Bosses, 40 inch tires. Uh, it's got a true Rusty's four link kit up front. Um, custom drive shafts, no clue who built them, bought them off a guy off Marketplace, it was a Marketplace deal, can't beat them. Um, lift kit come off of Kane Brown originally, Cole did not like it, so well, here it is on this one, because it was a lot better than the last one I had. Uh, rear axle, Sterling 10 and a half, also spooled, screwed up, should have just bought the factory e-locker, which coop. If you're gonna, you know, yeah, why, 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 why do you say that? <laughs> because the spool is also the same price as the factory e locker. Is it really? Yeah, you so you it's to... pretty close to the same price. What are these ugly things? Them are uh, badass leaf springs because you know they work. <laughs> Shout out our boy Kyle, <laughs> <laughs> they work, and I don't have the cash Cole has every time we do, you know, so go to coils. You spend on two new leaf springs, you can four link the rear of your Jeep the same way that I did mine. Hey, these Cheap. Were free. they were free. They were traded for something, but it was free. That's true. 
I, I spent no money on basically new leaf springs, so that's why they're here. This lift kit went to somebody else before Tommy got it off of me, and then Tommy got it off of somebody, and now it's bad. Hey, you do what you do. Uh, it's got Iron Rock off road uh, just or er, rear leaf um, relocation kits. So I can actually move that, adjust it forward and back. It was back a little farther, but I moved it back forward like another inch. Kind of works a little better for where I want it. Uh, I got a nice fuel cell that takes up lots of room. So, you know, no tools. Don't need no tools when you go one tons. <laughs> um, and custom, by me, adjustable rear shocks. Hey, can brackets. I get that light? Milwaukee, shout out to Milwaukee. <laughs> hey, we're trying to get a Harbor Freight deal. <laughs> there was something I, uh, you know, thought about trying, and so far it's worked. I had to do a little revamp to it because one day on the pigeon, the top bracket decided it was just gonna, you know, fold all the way down. So I had no up travel. So we redid it. So far, so good. This is the first Jeep with the coal cut, and you can see the difference in. The way that we have engineered everything from the start of this one to the way that we did Coop's Jeep, this was just, I don't know. I'm sorry, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> this was a the trial run. It didn't turn out bad. I mean, but. No, it still works and stuff, but. Yeah, it's definitely a different design than what I do now, so. Sounds like he's got work to do. He's got to redo it. Yeah, and your warranty still up? Or? <laughs> <laughs> got tail light warranty. You can still see the tail <laughs> Boom. TXJ. TMI bead locks. Well done. That's what everybody goes to. Cool kids, not that coop. Coop does price. So <laughs> straight up just goes out and spends money on the rim. Not this guy. They're pretty cheap. I think, but if you took the price that like you and I have into building our beadlocks <laughs> on and bolts price. and everything, you might as well have just bought aluminum. That's what I'm finding out. But these ones look so much cooler. Yeah. It'll buff out. All it's steel. It'll buff out. It'll buff out. Steering. Steering has gone through two different phases. You know, hence the slugs. It was bent out before I went high steer and then I got high steer. They were too long, so I cut them off and shortened them up. The PSE uh, Hydro Assist. It's got to be moved a little bit because it twists the tie rod and loosens up the hide movement. So, got to do a little modification before Windrock, but we'll get there. Uh, did snap. It looks like the driver's side axle uh, shaft one night, which was very surprising. But now it's got a Super 60 front yoke in the front on that side, still the factory uh, style shaft on that side. So, hopefully that one never breaks. Shouldn't. Shouldn't, hopefully. Well, sometimes I have a heavy right foot. You know, you'll have that on the big job. And sometimes things break because the night that broke, the back drive shaft also broke in the same <laughs> night. At the same time. <laughs> so, and, you know, worn 8,000 wench, nothing but the best. Where do you get that bumper from? Amazon. Hey, Amazon <laughs> Bill, here we go. Amazon front bumper, uh, I had to do a little fat or a little customization to build a little stronger mounts because the first day I used the winch it almost pulled the front bumper right off the Jeep. So we, you know, a little stronger steel, a little new mounting brackets to the unit body. Hasn't moved since. We're good there. Lights, another Amazon special. Lights are sick because they glow yellow. Boom. Boom. But <clears throat> yeah, so Tommy plans on uh, going to Windrock with us which is gonna be a blast. Me and Cole have been talking. We have like so many, I mean, these things are still look brand new. We're gonna have so many different tires going down there. And it's gonna be really interesting to see what tire works and what doesn't and yeah, so stay what tuned not. For the new tire shootout at Windrock. <laughs> the new tire shootout at Windrock. But yeah, uh, that's, that's Tommy's Jeep. Thing sick, excited to see it out and about. Uh, it's excuse me for being, you know, quick and stuff. It's absolutely freezing cold, and we have the salamander off in here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty much a full build on this thing. Even like you know, repainting it and stuff, which I think is awesome. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's Tommy's Jeep. 
in the intro to Tommy. He's gonna be in a couple videos, sooner or later. But anyways, that's gonna end it for this one. Uh, just a quick little video. And uh, yeah, Cole, any last words? Nothing? No, it'll buff no. out. Yeah, it'll buff. Tommy's last words are, it'll buff out. One day, the wheels. Day. Total Metal Innovations is gonna make us our own set of these beadlocks and it's gonna say, just give it a little bump. Just give it a bump. Just give it a bump. Just give it a bump. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, like, comment, subscribe.